Welcome to my crafty desk. My name is Sandra and I thought I would just get on here and film while I'm making some journal uh, cover tops. Top covers, cover cover tops. Anyhow, I'm gonna use a an assortment of things that I've purchased from Etsy, some digi kits, some of the padded um, hearts. Oops, that just came off. I'm gonna have to glue that back on, no big deal. I have tons of glue, I think we all do. And um, anyhow, I had made a bunch of journals, actually probably over a year ago, and they all, they're just the folders, uh, the big yellow envelopes, sorry, folded in half, and then I had decoupaged napkins and tissue paper. I've done some gesso, different things on these. And I just want some cover tops, top cover toppers <laughs> for some of them. I think it'll be a lot more prettier and it kind of um, tone down that busy uh, look on the journal cover. For instance, this one, which I really do like. Let me see. I like it. It's just, it's very busy. So I just want to tone it down. I've already got the signature pretty much chosen. I haven't sewed it in. I got the paper on there and some pockets. I've done some sewing. So this is ready to have a topper before I decide what kind of closure I'm going to put. So let's get started. Um, I do apologize. I'm, I don't remember anybody's names from the uh, journal uh, kits that I purchased on Etsy or the Padded Hearts. You can find all the different things on Etsy pretty easy by just Googling it. Um, sorry, not Googling it. <laughs> I Google everything. Um, you can do a search in Etsy for Padded Hearts, um, already made ephemera, things like that. So I've got a lot of scraps that I'm going to be using in this as well. So some lace, I uh, believe this is off a wedding veil. I purchased at the thrift store, a big wedding dress with the wedding veil. So I just kind of cut it and cut it rough around the edges. That's just gonna lay on top of there. I really like that. Um, let's see, I also um, tore some of this paper doily, which I love, it's so pretty. So I just tore a piece of that and I thought I liked that up there on the corner. And I did find some other pieces that I wanted to put in there. So I really wanted to put this sweet little girl on. Um, I just like it with the bunnies right now. I feel like this is just the perfect time of year to kind of play with that. And then this is a stamp that I have. And I just stamped it on some uh, paper pad, paper that I had. Just tore it around, um, inked the edges. And then I just put a little bit of this gold color tool that I like. I really feel like it looks vintage-y, like that vintage photo ink goes well with it. And some another type of tool lace stuff there. So let's see. I think what I like with this one is kind of just kind of neutral, simple. I want to put, I think, like that. And I really like this. Um, down here at the bottom. So, I thought that was a really good play on with my laces and whatnots there. But I also had, I think it needs it up here as well. Whoops. Okay, get you back on there. There you go. We'll do a little messy rough draft here. Maybe put that there. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Maybe pull that over here just a tad bit more to the edge and then put this like that. I kind of like that. Yeah, why not? I could even put a little sparkly stone there if I want or a little um, brad. Some, I've got different types of brads I can choose from. I do like this, but I think it needs that um, gold. I think I need a little bit more of that gold down there. Let's see what I have here in my little stash of stuff that I pulled out to play. Oops. I think I just tossed my little pearl. Whatever. Okay, so let me get a little bit of this tool here. I just have it off to the side. So I'm thinking maybe what I do here is just kind of scrunch that up like this. so. Yeah, kind of like that. And then maybe put this on here like this, just a little added texture and dimension. And then kind of squish that up like that. 
All right. I like that. And I think sitting on top of, you know, this plain journal, which I always grab them upside down. That's another reason why I need a topper. So I think that'll still look nice with the inside colors. It's got copy dyed and whatnot inside. Let's see. So what I do is I like to kind of put together a few different things, take photos of what I like and how I like it set. See, isn't that beautiful? I love that. I think that does it um, as the topper goes. As, um, but as far as the edges, like I still need to put corners on the court on them. And then once I sew the signature in, I will do something back here. I haven't decided if I'm going to sew it in bow or out tying do you, so that it ties on the outside kind of think in the outside with this with these ones just to keep it a little bit on the simpler side so there's that journal topper i like that one i think i'll set this one aside and then i have this book also that i like and i did some hand stitching and it's very messy because um you know hand stitching and me I went ahead and did the corners that way. It didn't matter to me since I'm going to put the, I'm going to actually put corner protectors on there. So just random papers inside, um, some vintage wallpaper, and they're all kind of similar with the setup, but a little bit different colors. This is from a paper pad, I think would look nice with this. And with this one, I'm kind of thinking that, so I have this curtain and it does fray a lot on the edge, which I love normally, but I think I'm gonna actually fold this in and kind of set it like that. Maybe even a little bit more. I, I, I wanna see the flower, but I don't have to, it doesn't have to be like so bright and vibrant. So, and then I think with this, I'm just gonna layer. So I've got maybe like so, um, I kind of like, let me see, how does this go? I like this, like that. That's pretty. Um, let's see, do I need an extra piece here to pop out that? Kind of like that. And then here's a cluster that I made. Um, I just sewed it. I can always put a button there or a gem or a piece of jewelry or something else that I have scavenged and saved. I kind of like that there, maybe to the side, maybe up, who knows. I do like that. And then this, I love this paper. It's got so much texture. It was a, a, a coffee cup from the drive-thru and I just turned it inside out and then tore it, tore it up. And then I like that, making treasured memories. Kind of, I think that, and I tore another piece of it and I just glued it to the back and then create, you know, it doesn't always have to be super complicated, right? It can just be simple and sweet. There we go. I do overcomplicate things. I have a tendency, but it's all right. It's who I am. Um, I don't know if I want to, oh yeah, I think I just want it up in there a little bit. Anyhow, I like that. I think that looks nice. I think it works with this. I mean, I can make it bigger or long, or, or taller, I'm so taller or wider. And I think I like that. I'm gonna set that one aside. So I think I'd like to do another one, maybe on this one. So maybe grab a piece of that paper from that digi kit and just take some of this lace of my, out of my scrap pile here. I like this. I like how that's all torn on the edges there. And I don't mind if that goes off the paper, of course. The paper just is, basically it's the structure of my topper with muted colors on the background. And let's see, I like the way it's torn this way. So of course, when I'm saying torn, but I, I cannot tear lace. I don't know if you can, I cannot tear it. I just take it and pull it and just, just keep snip, snip, snipping at it until I get a torn type of a look. And there's this, I was practicing some slow stitching and some things. I mean, I could put something like that on there with a label. Um, not with all that thread, but that's cute. Um, I also have this padded heart that I purchased, which lots of pearl that I can put it back on, a little sparkle there. And actually that's pretty cute. It's nice, it's simple. 
the colors all go. Um, I think that looks nice, just like that, really. If I wanted to add a little bit more texture, I mean, I, I have this paper doily um, of more of that. You can just put some of that on there. Anyhow, oh yeah, like that, I think like that. It's kind of cute. Maybe if it comes up, there we go. Let me fix my lice. Maybe not. Okay, well, whatever. I can fix that later, but I do kind of like that. So I kind of want to leave it alone for a moment. Um, no, I guess not. My hands aren't listening to my, <laughs> my mouth. <laughs> Does that happen to you? I'm like, I'm done, but no, I guess I'm not. <laughs> so there we go. Yeah, yeah, I think it needs that little extra, a little extra pizzazz there. All right, I'm good with that. You know, and then I could put like a little label on there or that's just some more textury stuff that I have. Oh, that's kind of cute, but maybe not. I think that's too much. All right, so let it, let it rest. Just let it rest, come back to it and see how I like that one. I'm gonna set that on top of the other one. So that's kind of what I was playing with today um, to see how I like that. And I mean, I've got several more sheets here and I actually have a dozen of those books that I've been working on for the past year or longer and I just haven't finished them. Um, like I said, I've got them all on the outside covered and all the insides have their papers and their pockets and almost all of the signature chosen to be inside, but they, a lot of them need either a full topper or just a, a smaller piece. Some of the smaller pieces, I have these words that I just, I don't know, sometimes I just don't feel it. Oh, that was my puppy dog you seen there. So I thought I maybe I should just do something with these and just make them a little bit more grabby, grab, grab friendly. So grab friendly to me is I want to be able to pick it up and use it, even if it's not finished, a finished thing, but sort of finished, close, closer than this anyhow, than all these different pieces. So if this was, say, finished like this, and it was already attached to that, even without fabric, if I didn't have another part to that, then maybe when I, when I found something like this, and I'm like, oh, I, I really like that, I can just put that on there, you know? And then it's done, it's like a grab and, it's a grab and go. Um, I could always also just t grab it and then just, if I think that it needs a little bit more texture to pop out, I can grab some lace and I can just, you know, add a little bit of lace on there as a little, a little skirt and it could just go, you know, under there. I don't know, I don't know if it needs it, but it makes it easier. I, li I kind of like that, kind of. I have to just kind of fiddle with that a little bit. Maybe I'll leave that all together now. Yeah, I'll just be sweet. <laughs> Anyhow, thanks for joining me at my crafty desk and um, I hope that I've inspired you to um, reach out into your scrap box and grab some things and play with them. It, sometimes it's hard for me just to get started, but once I get the flow, I just gotta keep on going. Anyhow, hope to see you again. Thank you for joining. Have a good day.